Okay, this is uh, the Laser Saber Mini Boost bar Box already uh, put together after I put the three super caps on each side and put them in series. Uh, they were a 2.7 volt 100 farad, and what I might end up doing now, I'm thinking, is rewire them and put the three in parallel because the real value of this is USB power because you can power a bunch of stuff and I can also load those capacitors up with this uh, little 10 watt USB panel that I use on the boat and uh, I can just stick that on the window of the boat and it would charge this thing up and let me show you the the thing that laser saber showed um, is the valuable part of this device and that's the uh, the light output that you get with this um, self-contained boost box that gives you um, about 10 minutes of light uh, from what I'm seeing a usable light that you can use to read by and it's um, depending on what kind of bulbs you use it's very very uh, usable light that uh, on the boat like I say we're using these USB powered lights uh, almost exclusively now for our nighttime lighting and uh, we're not taking it off the main solar panels we're using little uh, solar panels put in the window of the boat to get the power to, to run our lighting at night um, and in an emergency being able to complement the two of them with the hand crank um, and in conjunction with the solar makes a really effective um, way to make light at night and when I was a young man I sailed a 29 foot sailboat from uh, Los Angeles to Hawaii and then spent the winter over there working and then sailed back the next summer and this was I don't know 30 years ago or so 40 years ago a long long time ago anyway it was before solar panels and good generators and whatever wind generators so we used kerosene lanterns if you can imagine that and we read books at night for an entertainment um, reading books at night with a kerosene lantern and had I had one of those that would have made uh, the winter better because I could have had lighting in the boat that was adequate b besides the kerosene lantern so anyway I, I think this um, I made a comment that I didn't think this was very good this uh, hand crank generator and I'm, I'm re uh, reassessing it it is a very very good generator now you've got basically uh, right here what is in the uh, power bank inside of this thing. In here is uh, outputs that you can regulate with this little switch right here. And then you've got two USB ports for output at the USB. And it is the USB power that I agree with Laser Saber is the value of that unit. And when you put internal storage within it, now, now you've got something really, really useful. And the whole thing fits in a little box. You can take the crank off, of course, uh, real easily and store the thing in a small box. And I'm thinking of putting this in a watertight, airtight plastic container uh, with silica gel packet so that it stays dry. And man, talk about a great emergency uh, hand-powered uh, crank that really does charge up things I mean there's enough of a dynamo in there it's not a little funky thing like you see on eBay for 20 bucks or five bucks this thing gets the job done this actually is kinda of hard to crank at first but um, even a child could operate that thing and in conjunction with a solar panel if you do have any kind of Sun you can get usable energy that uh, really is effective that uh, I think is valuable and that's my uh, analysis of this uh, laser saber mini boost box um, you might put um, eight super caps in that thing instead of the six and like I say I'm thinking about trying to rearrange that so that it's two three three uh, paired up two packs of three to get the the uh, energy to supply the voltage converter the voltage converter will operate at three volts to boost this to five five and a half uh, USB power so 
if you filled up a two pair of three hundred Farad super caps, that might be the answer for this USB generator. Now he shows his putting out 12 volts and then inverting it on up to 110. It doesn't run very long if you're going to use the super capacitor type of uh, arrangement. But this idea here, real winner. Major thumbs up on this one, guys. I, I highly recommend. Uh, they're only about $30, $35 for these generators. And then do with it whatever you want to do with it. But the generator itself, the dynamo, is a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.